Welcome back to another edition of the Prospect Profile, a mini-series we'd be here within the Kansas City Royals franchise where we go over top prospects from AA Northwest Arkansas up to AAA Omaha. Last time we were in AAA Omaha to go over starting pitching prospect Nolan Watson, and now we're going to be staying with the pitching side of things, but heading back down to AA Northwest Arkansas to go over left-handed pitcher Burt Stone. Like I said, Stone is a left-handed pitcher. He stands six foot seven inches tall. He is 215 pounds, so he is quite tall and lanky. He is 21 years old out of the state of Michigan, and he was drafted in the fourth round by Kansas City in the 2018 MLB entry draft. As far as Stone's attributes stand right now, he is a 74 overall B potential. And he is quite a solid all-around pitcher. He doesn't really have any glaring weaknesses, which is definitely something you like to see. His All his hit per nine, K per nine, all those stats are about the same. They're all in the same range. His hit per nine is 57. His K per nine is 63. His walks per nine is 50. And then his home runs per nine is 62. So you like to see all of those are going to be continuing to go up because he is young with a B potential. And they're all pretty good as it stands right now as well. His repertoire is he throws a four-seam fastball that's just around 94 to 95 miles per hour. He throws a changeup, a two-seam fastball, and a slider. His changeup and slider, to me, felt extremely good in the game. They were both very good strikeout pitches. They would keep hitters off balance with the changeup. People would swing and miss through it. Uh, pretty, pretty good. Decent wipeout stuff potential with his slider as well. He was able to throw it away from people. Indoor sliders, backdoor sliders, the whole shebang. Very good pitches for changeup and sliders. And they're not just strikeout pitches as well. He can throw them in any count. And then if you take a look at his four-seamer and his two-seamer, they're not the flashiest pitches considering this is modern baseball where most pitchers are throwing 99, 99 miles per hour. He's only throwing 94 to 95, but he is going to get some swings and misses at that about 95 miles per hour. And the two-seamer is definitely an effective pitch at jamming hitters inside, inducing some ground balls, some weak pop-ups, just weak contact in general, and then also thrown down and away can induce some ground balls as well. It's definitely good that Stone has the potential to have four plus pitches, three plus pitches, what you want to aim for for a starting pitcher, and Burt Stone has the potential to have four, I guess three if you count the four-seamer and two-seamer is the same thing since they're both fastballs. So in that case, it would be three, but if you count them both separately, then he has the potential to have four plus pitches. And he has been extremely consistent for us throughout the minor leagues. Like I said, he was drafted in the fourth round by us in 2018. So 2019 was his first year in our system where he had 115 strikeouts and 158 and two-thirds innings. He had a 3.23 ERA and a 1.50 whip. And then in 2020, which was this previous season, he had 166 strikeouts and 169 innings pitched, a 3.09 ERA and a 1.38 whip with a 3-1-6 FIP. And now this year, so far through 2021, he has 146 strikeouts, which is first in the Texas League. So is his 163rd innings pitched. And then he has a 3.26 ERA and a 1.18 whip. So basically, through his three years throughout our system, he's had around the same ERA, ERA which is definitely very good to see. He's struck out a lot of batters each year, and they've gotten better each year because... 115, 158 in first year, and then he's consistently gotten better with a strikeout pitch, and then he has also consistently gotten better with walking less batters as his walk per nine and his whip his whip stat have gone down as well. It went from 150 to 138 to now 1.18. And as far as Burt Stone's future and organization goes, I definitely expect this guy to be a starter for us at the Major League level at some point. Definitely not next year. He's not going to be on the opening day roster for 2022, but he definitely has a chance to be a call-up at some point in that Major League season next year. He's going to be starting in AAA, and he's definitely one of two, three top guys in our pitching organization that we'll look at if we need pitching help at the big league level. And with that being said, that is going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Kansas City Royals prospect profile of left-handed pitcher Burt Stone down in AA. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye.